two, one. A fantastic but sad ending story which we can learn what happened and is really interesting. A book that I'll be reading to you is called A Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. It is about a nine-year-old boy living in World War II called Bruno. His father is a general, a nasty commander. Bruno gets to meet Shumel secretly, a Jewish boy in the death camp. Bruno slowly becomes friends with Shumel. I chose the scene where Bruno gets to meet Shumel. I chose this part because it is the most fantastic part and it tells us to start about Bruno's and Shumel's adventure. A Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boy. Hello, said Bruno. Hello, said the boy. The boy was smaller than Bruno and was sitting on the ground with a forlorn expression. He wore the same striped pajamas that all the other people on that side of the fence were, and a striped cloth cap on his head. He wasn't wearing any shoes or socks, and his feet were rather dirty. On his arm, he wore an armband with a star on it. When Bruno first approached the boy, he was sitting cross-legged on the ground, staring at the dust beneath him. However, after a moment, he looked up and Bruno saw his face. It was quite a strange face, too. His skin was almost the color of gray, but not quite like any gray that Bruno had ever seen before. He had very large eyes, and they were the color of caramel sweets. The whites were very white, and when the boy looked at it, all Bruno could see was an enormous pair of sad eyes staring back. Bruno was sure that he had never seen a skinnier or sadder boy in his life, but decided that he had better talk to him. I've been exploring, he said. Have you? said the little boy. Yes, for almost two hours now. This was not, strictly speaking, true. Bruno had been exploring for, over just, for just over an hour, but he didn't think that exaggerating slightly would be too bad a thing to do. It wasn't quite the same thing as lying and made him seem more adventurous than he really was. Have you found anything? asked the boy. Very little. Nothing at all? Well, I found you, said Bruno after a moment. He stared at the boy and considered asking him why he looked so sad, but hesitated because he thought it might sound rude. He sat down on the ground on his side of the fence and crossed his legs like the little boy and wished that he had brought some chocolate with him or perhaps a pastry that they could share. I live in the house on this side of the fence, said Bruno. Do you? I saw the house once from a distance, but I didn't see you. My room is on the first floor, said Bruno. I can see right over the fence from there. I'm Bruno, by the way. I'm Shmuel, said the little boy. Bruno scrunched up his face, not sure that he hurt the little boy right. What What did you say your name was? He asked. Shmuel, said the little boy, as if it was the most natural thing in the world. What did you say your name was? Bruno, said Bruno. I've never heard of that name, said, Bru said Shmuel. And I've never heard of your name, said Bruno. Shmuel, he thought about it. Shmuel, he repeated. I like the way it sounds when I say it, Shumuel. It sounds like the wind blowing. Bruno, said Shumuel, nodding his head happily. Yes, I think I like your name too. It sounds like someone who's rubbing their arms to keep warm. I've never met anyone called Shumuel before, said Bruno. There are dozens of Shumuels on this side of the fence, said the little boy. Hundreds, probably. I wish I had a name all of my own. I've never met anyone called Bruno, said Bruno, other than me, of course. I think I might be the only one. Then you're lucky, said Shumuel. I suppose I am. How old are you? he asked. Shumuel thought about it and looked down at his fingers, and they wiggled in the air, as if he was trying to calculate. I'm nine, he said. My birthday is April the 15th, 1934. Bruno stared at him in surprise. What, what did you say? He asked. I said, my birthday is April the 9th, 15th, 1934. Bruno's eyes opened wide and his mouth made the shape of an O. I don't believe it, he said. Why not? asked Shumo. No, said Bruno, shaking his head quickly. I don't mean I don't believe you. I mean, I'm surprised, that's all. 
because my birthday is April the 15th, too, and was born in 1934. We were born on the same day. Shumel thought about this. So you're nine, too. Yes, isn't that strange? Very strange, says Shumel. Because there may be dozens of Shumels on this side of the fence, but I don't think that I've ever met anyone with the same birthday as me before. We're like twins, said Bruno. A little bit, agreed Shumel. Bruno felt very happy all of a sudden. Thank you.